All right, folks. Uh, after I recorded the uh, the first uh, first part, I realized there was a time delay between my talking and uh, what was happening on the screen. So I'm going to redo the first part of this uh, of this uh, video segment, except that dimensions are not going to be the same because I was making them on the fly. So when you look at my parts after I do it again, you will see that there's a discrepancy between what, I, what, what I'm doing here and uh, as far as I mentioned and what you see in uh, part two where I uh, created joints and everything. Uh, but that's okay. So uh, here, uh, let's go to, oh, this is the problem that we want to do, uh, chap uh, chapter 11. It's a robotic arm, it's got a vertical, it's got a vertical base, two links and a vertical pin. All right. So, let's uh, start with Katia. Right away, I'm going to save this thing. File, save management, uh, save as, uh, on the desktop, create a new folder, and I'll call it uh, second attempt. Second attempt. And hopefully this one is going to be better. Uh, all right. All right, let's insert the vertical base. So in, uh, we'll switch to mechanical design, assembly design. <coughs> insert, insert, uh, insert a new part in there. And let me call this thing uh, vertical, uh, vertical base. So uh, properties, this is the part name, vertical base. And same thing here. This is the part instance name, vertical base. Uh, let's move on. So uh, double click on the on the uh, vertical base to put it in part design on a convenient plane. Say on the horizontal plane, I will draw a rectangle. There we are, uh, and two circles inside it. Uh, I want to make these circles uh, centered, so uh, top line, control, bottom line, control the center, and uh, uh, this icon, make it uh, equidistant, left, control, right, control the center, make it equidistant again, excellent, and then finally make the inner circle right there, okay? Exit, and let me use the multipath here. Multipath, so there are three uh, curves here. This is the, the rectangle, so let me make this thing 100, or let me make it uh, 10, uh, 10 millimeters. Uh, this is the small circle. I'm going to make it 140. And this is the outside circle. I'm going to make it uh, 120. How about that? If it doesn't look good, we can change it. Now, uh, in this uh, in this base, I'm also going to draw a path along which the the pin, the vertical the, the vertical link is going to trace. And in order to do that, first uh, I need this path to be on a tilted plane. So let me create a a plane first. And the method of construction is angle normal to a plane. So for the rotation axis, I'm going to use this. For the uh, reference plane, I'm going to use this vertical one. Notice that it already creates a plane here. And then, uh, okay, oops, no, wait a minute. Sorry, let's go back here. Let's go back. Let's try it one more time. Uh, the method that you want to use is angle and uh, normal. So axis of rotation is this. Reference plane is that. Or the angle notice has already created it there, and then we start tilting it until we are happy. So, yep, see it's tilted there. I'm happy right there. You can see that. And on this plane, I will sketch uh, the path of the vertical pin uh, or link. I want to make it a spline. I can make it a spline. Oh, uh, here's a spline. Excellent. Exit, there we are. Okay, save everything. Then we're gonna insert insert the next part. Oh, but by the way, 
I need to create a point on this uh, on this curve. So uh, uh, let's uh, go back to this vertical base. The reason I need a point here because uh, later on the the uh, the vertical pin is going to land on this uh, on this path. So uh, let's create a point. Uh, the method of construction is going to be on a curve on this curve. And notice that it's the blue one that's being traced here and the distance is specified there. So for example, if I say zero, right there, it created there. Zero. Now we're done. Save everything. Okay. All right, so uh, now we're gonna insert the uh, link number one. Insert a new part in there. Say no. This is gonna be link one. Properties, I'm gonna call it link one. Link. I could have left it as part one, but uh, anyway, link one. Link one. All right, let's make it. Uh, double click on link one on a convenient plane. For me, convenient plane is here because I can see what I'm doing later on when I make the when I make the uh, yeah the link. So first thing is project that circle. This is where I'm going to start. Normal view, normal view, right there, and do the rest of the the link. So uh, yeah, how about that? Right there, right there, and there. Okay, the only thing I want to do, I want to make this circle, control that circle, concentric. So we go here, concentric. And uh, since there are no dimensions here, I can leave, we can move this thing as I wish. So there we are. Okay, very good. And now let's make a, a little circle on this side. By the way, I just noticed that, uh, are these parallel? Looks like parallel. We have to. All right, good. Exit. Exit. And let's, it's not look parallel to me, but, uh, Yeah, they're not. So this one control that one. They don't have to be, but uh, I wanted them to be parallel. So there now better. Okay, good. Exit. Pad it. Yeah, make it ten. Excellent. Now let's go and insert the second link. So we'll save everything here. Very good. So on a convenient insert, insert a new part in there. It's going to be link number two. Link two and link two. Make it. Okay, good. On a convenient plane, on this plane, I will sketch. Why don't I project that uh, project that circle? There we are. And uh, let's make the rest of the link. For example, uh, something like that. Okay. And uh, there we are. Exit. Okay, so I want to make uh, at this end, I don't want a hole. I want a hole here where the vertical pin is going to go into, but on this side, I want a pin. So we have to, I'll, I'll use a multi pad instead. So uh, there we are. This is the big perimeter. Let me make it uh, seven. This is the hole on the right side. I want it actually hole, so we keep it at zero. And the one on this side, on the left side, I want it actually to be a pin. So I'll make it, I don't know, seven, eight. There. Uh, actually, eight was not good enough. Uh, maybe bigger to make it look like a pin. Doesn't have to be one. 18. There. 18. Oh, 18. That's what it looks like. Okay, finally we're gonna create the vertical uh, the vertical uh, pin here, the vertical link. 
So insert a new part. I know. I'll call this thing the vertical pin. Properties. Vertical link actually. Vertical link. And vertical link. So let's make it on a convenient plane on this plane I will sketch why don't project that circle there and exit and all we want is to pad this uh, long enough maybe I do mirror extent so that uh, you don't have to make it it's just that it's easier to make it long enough faster there we are now also I need oops I need a, a point at the bottom of this link because eventually that's going to end up being coincident with that. So let's make a point. The method of construction is uh, circle center and uh, at the bottom you can see that. See this right there. And we say okay. And there are no constraints here. In fact, you can see uh, well let's, let me make a save here quickly. And there are no constraints because I can move things apart. For example, uh, let's say this and that and that. And we're pretty much done. So I'm going to stop it here. Uh, in the, the last video segment, uh, the constraints are going to be put, and the core, uh, put on the assembly. And then the joints are going to be created. The, the, the size of the sizes that you see here are not going to be the sizes that you see there because this was a redo of the first part because of the lag in the sound.